Hello everyone, and today we will continue our introduction with PyRevit. I will show you only useful functional in PyRevit. It's still in beta version, so it's not final product. So let's start and I'll show you the most interesting function. And for that I will use now um, two sample projects. Uh, that sample projects you can find uh, in your Revit. Here the open and simple files. Uh, or you can use uh, your own files. So I'll open this project and let's I'll open the other one sample file by that this one. So now WT. Now we have the uh, two hour project uh, in a sharing window. So now let's go to our ribbon menu and PyRevit. So uh, let's start from the left to the right. I will introduce some some interesting functional by my opinion. Maybe you will find uh, some functional more interesting than me. Uh, I'll open the plan. Doesn't matter which one. I open this plan, and now uh, let's use the first one. Uh, it will be pick. Uh, click on that. Yeah. Uh, before I'll use it, that uh, I'll show you when you hold your mouse on the, this uh, icon. Uh, there's some uh, like small introduction and uh, on the under uh, under introduction this is a classify of the uh, Python script so if you know uh, coding by Python so you can use it uh, I mean this functional you can use it in your in your own script but it's not about this now okay I'll use the peak we will get some uh, something like menu for example for this one i will use door so this is mean i can pick now only door so it's really nice thing or maybe we want pick the only i don't know maybe grids so you can use only grids it's really so useful you no need uh, select everything after that you no need going to the filter or you no need like uh, uh, select one grid and after that uh, like uh, um, how is it oh, select all entire project see as you see the <laughs> this grids is a bit different so it's different family and we cannot select everything so, by my opinion, this function very useful. Also, if you will open the mm, under the pick the menu, you will see we have here the pick detail element and pick model element. It's everything uh, same. For example, let's try the pick detail, and now. Uh, of course, I'm selected only detail, uh, and the same thing with the mm, model elements. So for me, pick is uh, really so useful. Uh, so the next one, this is isolate. Uh, when we click the isolate, we get the uh, like uh, uh, small menu, and they're asking us what we want to isolate. For example, the doors. Ta-da! You don't need to select everything, you just clicking and we isolating the doors. And I don't know, maybe the maybe room tax. Who knows why you need that? Okay, this is so pretty simple, but also the um, can be useful. The next one, this is filter. Uh, filter can be used uh, with some, some small function, as you see here. Uh, not so my, much uh, functional. For example, f mm, what I used, I'm using discard pin ob objects and done. We don't have any pinned objects. And also, I'm using for the discard group objects. Ta da! What else we have? If I will select everything again, let's go to the filter. Also, I have the keep elements hosted on the linked model. Maybe you need it. Uh, what else? Uh, the next one, this is select. Uh, select uh, something. 
for example select all the nodes in, in, in this viewport or for example I will uh, select this group objects I will go again to the PyRevit, py select and I don't know, let's see, we want invert the selected we also can do that or did, do you remember when I select this um, grid not all not all grid was selected because it's different uh, types but same family PyRevit can uh, select uh, different types but one, one family it's here just click on that and ta -da, everything now it's uh, selected uh, what else he can do let's go again to the selected uh, we can select it, uh, group elements uh, I don't know like uh, all elements of same family just check it uh, selected here useful the next function this m read and write and m append uh, if you're using the calculate you remember the all this function uh, has the in your calculator anyway if you don't know it I'll show you what is that uh, you have the some object for example on this view maybe this door just click M append let's go to other view this is level uh, level 2 uh, let's select this door also let's make the M append and let's go maybe on the floor number two here let's choose this door and also m append so what we get if i will cl uh, click on the m read he will show you mm, the, i mean the script will show us uh, what we selected before this door this door even this door so this mean you can you can uh, not uh, you no need be afraid going to different view and select different things you just writing on the script and after that just m read and everything is selected maybe you want to delete this door from the selected so it's easy also let's select this door by revit here under memory it's uh kinda not useful but anyway and here mdeduct now if I will uh, click again on mread this door not a, uh, not now under selected object and also you can clean all memory just click on here so if I will click on the mread no any object now was selected so it can be uh, it can be useful if you know for what you can use it anyway this is uh, some easy uh, no not easy it's like a new way to select object in different views it's really for this one it's really helpful what about the copy uh, as you understand copy have the uh, other function this paste okay what we can do with that uh, by the name you understand what we can copy for example I want zoom like I have the large scale building and I want zoom on this tag just copy that view and zoom go to other view and oh my god I forgot where is this part or I cannot find this part I'm working first time on this project just paste view zoom ta -da. we find this place on the other level can be used uh, okay I know I know it will stay on the copy and stay because it's pretty simple to understand what what they can do I'll go to the to the next analysis so what about the analysis uh, now we cannot see the my parking here go let's go to the visibility graphic I mean the view range and let's create like unlimited I want to see oh it's not unlimited after desk <laughs> they they hide it <laughs> unhide it 
uh, let's unhide all category okay now we have here for example our parking let's go to analyze and get parking count in current view and as you see we get our uh, number of parking of this current view uh, let's say this parking will be different like uh, let's say did and let's change this one this parking okay and what 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 else he changing now okay nice and now again analysis get parking and as you see now he count two different parking and we know he have 11 80 degree parking and 16 90 degree parking uh, for calculating also can be used what else about the interesting things in Pyravid this is make the pattern uh, you can see how I did that in previous video uh, how we did the pattern here for example override like um, uh, let's create the dimension here our dimension just click on dimension Pyravid override override dims and choose what you want for example I want a plus minus uh, of this number and you can get it check them have them many so nice uh, functional about the sheets of course you can copy to the other document viewports for example um, you wanna mm, I don't know like copy the sheets to the other document ah I didn't open any document let's open the other one for example this one like control tab we're going back sheets and to the other document and he asking which uh, to which project I wanna copy the sheets for to this uh, call to the to that uh, document I wanna copy this sheet let's copy it copy uh, done let's go back and if we'll go to the shadows here we don't have anyone why because I copied the same <laughs> that's why okay anyway just check what we have here if you want guys I will try uh, to next week leave uh, the link below this video and I will introduce all the functional by text maybe you will find it uh, more useful uh, what else uh, what else I'm using the legends of course uh, you can copy detail to uh, legends uh, as detail and copy it to the other document and uh, uh, of course legends to the other document um, it's for example you have the keynote like legend and you can copy to other document just by one click okay what else and what what else I am find uh, useful uh, it was here where is it ah yes uh, uh, rename 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 yes rename selected views so you just can click on the all views what you want rename and can rename it by one click and if you working uh, with sharing file uh, with uh, many people like five maybe 20 you always have the question who did that for example who moved this wall who I don't know changing uh, this tag and now you can find answer so fast for example you can see here edited by right but for example you don't know who created that and uh, go to the pirate go to the team and here who did that click that who created this object and now you know who created this project who created who owner of this uh, element and who last changed <laughs> this element it's really useful uh, but don't uh, hate your colleagues after that functional because <laughs> you now know everything about who doing and what doing and of course you can check 
who create this active view, who reload the knotes last, for example, knotes last. No one on the knotes last, so you can make changes and reload. So that's it, I think. Uh, other functional, it's um, pretty similar like uh, Revit tools, so I didn't find uh, it useful. That's why I'm not, is not showing you what they can do. But of course, you can check by yourself what they, what they can do. And maybe you'll find some difference with Revit tools. Okay guys, thank you for watching and see you later.